Now that's yeah. Big Nose, yeah, who's right. um, convinced that we never put his picture up on the wall. Well, there and he is. And he's only been there about a week because we said there was something fishy about him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you are there, mate. It's yeah. just that you don't watch all their videos, obviously. Mm. Yeah. See, the, the truth will always out. Greetings, RC Model Geeks! And here we are in the shed of shame with the reader's wives. Yes, we have. <laughs> <laughs> uh, part 8 of the uh, DB Sport and Scale Auto Gyro Bill. Mm. So, should we have a look at see what's uh, arrived in the mail? Yes. Uh, overnight, shall we? Okay. So, where should we start? Oh. Um, should, do you want to start at the top? Yeah. Right at the top there, there's uh, Eleanor. Who's that? Um, yes, yes, we're a bear cat there. Yeah. Oh, bear sorry. being the operative word. Oh, sorry, I'm, I haven't got the plane. Oh, there it is. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, moving down slightly, now, um, good old Cheryl there, yeah, she, yeah. She, she, she knew I was right about his small chopper. Yeah. So, um, as you can see, she's now got uh, Ian's small chopper in her hand there. There you go. And that is a small chopper, that I is, will agree. That is the actual size. Yeah, 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 we had to blow that up, didn't we? Yeah, quite a bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and if we go down to the um, uh, right slightly, the old um, pipe out there. Oh, the green one? Yeah. Now yeah. that's Big Nose, yeah, who's right. um, convinced that we never put his picture up on the wall. Well, there and he is. And he's only been there about a week because we said there was something fishy about him. Yeah. <laughs> so you are there, mate. It's yeah. just that you don't watch all their videos, obviously. Mm. Yeah? See, the, the truth will always out. Yeah. Um, and then what have we got? Oh, we've got right on the right hand side at the top there. Oh, sorry, I was still on. Um... Oh, have you not looked at the others? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Angel sent that yes. picture in. There he is. Uh, and that's of a, a, a Percival uh, that he's building uh, with its little brother there as well. Yes, it looks nice. So um, yeah. he's, he's big time into the old building, yeah. isn't he? Eh? Yeah. Um, you know, we look forward to seeing some flying videos from him. Yeah. Or, or all these hangar queens, you know? Mm. Uh, oh, we will see. So, that's it. Yeah. Uh, we're going to get on with some building now today, aren't we? Hopefully we are. we're not going to get visited by 101 people. Uh-huh. Or 101 Dalmatians. Yeah. Um, so we're going to continue with the build... ...of this. Of this little puppy. Of this little puppy. Mm. So um, today we're going to get the top and bottom sheeting in. Hopefully, get it all sanded. Yeah. Um, maybe get the control runs in. Get the servos in. Mm -hmm. um, let's see how it goes. Yeah. Something might happen. You never know. But what's looming on the horizon? We just have to suck it and see, don't we? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay, we're nipping along today. No interruptions. Yes. This is quite handy. Mm. And the fuselage is made. Mm. There you go. Um, got a hatch on there as well. Magnetic hatch. Slides in like that. Pushes down the back. Bob's your uncle. Look at that. So that's all good. Um, the next thing we've got to do is we've got to put um, a servo tray in. Yeah. Um, we just started working on that, which is this here. Yeah, it so will be when it's uh, finished, and that's going to slot inside there. We'll show you that when we've done it. Hmm. Oh, be right back after I've opened Mother's jar. Oh uh, yes. We're okay, on. we're on. Uh, we have been fairly busy. Not been idle. Not been idle, indeed. Um, it's probably the lack of video <laughs> <laughs> yeah. today. So what have we done? We've glued the uh, the tip plates onto the uh, tail. Yeah. Yeah, they're all glued on there. They're lovely jubbly. We've sort of assembled the um, the support that holds the tail mm -hmm. all together with loads of triangle pieces, which then sits on there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we've put in the push rod for the elevator. Yeah. In there, we've got the servos in. 
Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, the tray's not glued in yet, but it's it's in there. Mm-hmm. Um, we've done the towel skid. Oh yeah. Where's he hiding? Oh, we've done the rudder. We've done the rudder. Colin, Colin's put the awn on the rudder. Look at that bit of... <sighs> yeah, we've made the tail skid. There you go, that's just got a glue on the bottom. Like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so we have been nipping along mm. very nicely, thank you very much. So, um, we're, we're going to carry on. I'm not sure which bit we're doing next. Um, we might glue the servo tray in, actually. Yeah, we'll Now that we know what it is. We also got to put the push, we've got to do the push rod for the rudder. Yeah. Which is why we put that on there mm. temporarily before we cover it. Yeah. That'll come off again when we cover it. Mm-hmm. But we just wanted to get the positioning right. And, uh, and stuff like that that goes right down there actually mm. yeah so yeah uh, that's where we're up to so we'll be back in a minute when we've done a bit more to it right here whatever that is mm. Mm. right we're gonna make a push rod yes for the uh, for the rudder on mm. this plane and uh, over the years I've seen some real disastrous push rods especially swallows Especially swallows, yeah, and Bix the Fills, oh, actually, yeah. Fills. yeah. Mm. Um, there's, there's, there's a knack to getting it right with, with no sort of wobble and free play. Mm. So, um, a lot of kits come with uh, wooden push rods um, with, you know, piano wire. So, I thought I'd show you how to make one. Mm. So, first thing is, we've got a piece of piano wire, which is threaded. Yeah. Yeah, there's a thread on the end there. Well, the clevis, that's the clevis, if you don't know, screws onto. Mm. Here is a wooden dowel, which is going to be a push rod. Yeah. The general principle is that we're going to drill a little hole through there. Mm-hmm. We're going to put a bend on the piano wire. 90 degrees. 90 degrees. Put that through the bend, through the hole. Yeah. We're then going to glue it onto the push rod mm-hmm. with super glue yeah and then we're going to slide heat shrink over it yeah. this is the heat shrink method okay yeah so basically we're going to fill all this with super glue and then we're going to shrink that on top of it and it will never come undone ever again mm. the traditional way to do this would be pretty much the same way you drill a hole through put a bend in there and drop it on but what you would do is bind that with some kind of thread mm. all the way along mm. yeah and then you know basically soak glue into it but uh, this uh, heat shrink method works quite nicely so this is the one we're going to show you yeah because the other way of doing it the old way is a bit of a bind <laughs> oh you're a comedian as oh, well thank you very much <laughs> all right so we want a very short end on this like that Okay, we just put a bend onto the opposite end of the clevis. Um, distance wise, uh, you know, obviously the shorter this is, the better, the less chance of it bending, but you know, you want clearance for what you're going through in your body. Yeah. And that ain't going to go through your body. No, not You know, through, through the side of the fuselage. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it's a, it's a balancing act. So, and two inches should be fine like that. Mm hmm. Okay. So, First thing is, we're going to drill that hole at about there, I would say. Straight through. Yes. It's a winner. There you go. Yep. Beautiful. That is nice. Yeah. So then what we're going to do is we're going to get some super glue. I mean, you could epoxy this if you want, mm. but super glue is much quicker and it works quite nicely. So we're going to put some super glue down the hole yeah. and we're just going to run a little bit along where the piano wire is going to sit. OK. Yeah. And we're going to drop that. You can put a groove there if you want as well, but mm. it's not necessary. Mm. And then make sure it's parallel. And just let that glue off for a minute. Yeah. Too keen. Mm. 
This is really just sort of tacking it for the moment. Mm. This isn't what the strength is in. This is just holding it in the right place. Yeah, until you get right. the picture in Right, okay. Mm. Yeah. So that's our basic push rod yeah. end that made. Good. Obviously you do this twice, Yeah. one for each end. <clears throat> then you'll want some heat shrink. Now obviously you want heat shrink that's big enough to go over that and over that. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I have got some here which is just a little bit too tight. Yeah. So we've had to go for uh, another size up. So we're going to cut our heat shrink a little bit longer than this join. Yeah, so something like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we've got that. That's you can see that's actually pretty well glued. Yeah, yeah, it is. But strong. you know, we want strength in this. So what we're going to do is now we've got it like that. We're going to soak the whole thing all the way round. Yeah, in super glue. Yeah. Okay. Basically, where your heat shrink is going to cover. Okay. Then we're going to slide this bit of heat shrink down over the joint with a little bit of overlap at each end. Mm hmm. And we're going to shrink it while the super glue is still wet. Uh, what you've got to be careful of is the fumes of the super glue now while it's yeah. heating up. And you can see the super glue oozing out. Yeah. And that is nicely shrunk. Hmm. And that ain't never gonna break. No, that's never coming apart, guys. No. Nice and clean, simple. And quick. And quick, yeah. And that is one push rod end. Hmm. Easy, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. So there's another little trick for you if you've never done it before. Heat shrink works well. Yes, it does. Um, same same principle because sometimes they give you like um, balsa push rods. Yeah. You know, like square balsa lengths and yeah, stuff, I've seen stuff like that. Yeah. Mm. Um, exactly the same method. Mm. Uh, yeah, cool. So anyway, we'll get on to the other one, cut it all length and uh, and get it working. Yeah. Back with you in a minute. Okay. Okay, well we're going to wrap this up for the day. Yep. It's uh, almost gone six now, isn't it? Mm. It's getting dark outside. So, uh, yeah, good progress made today. Mm. Um, push rods are in. Um, servos are in. Uh, the sail, all this is sort of done now. Hinged. Not glued yet, because we're not going to glue, obviously glue them until it's covered. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, just bits generally made, rudder, the, um, the thingy that holds the, uh, the tail on, so yeah, let's chuck that on there, shall we, yeah, so that's all there, and there's another bit of rudder that goes for a vertical fin up here, uh, -huh. uh yeah, so it's, um, no, it's coming again, we're not far off doing some serious covering work. Hmm. Um, which we can try for tomorrow, probably. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's all good. So uh, yeah, we're going to go and, uh, and relax now. Yeah. Um, keep sending in the pictures. Yeah. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Keep sending in the pictures uh, and all that other stuff. Like, comment, subscribe. Patreon. Patreon, yeah. Got a Facebook uh, page. Biscuits, planes, mm. toys, whatever. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we'll be back again tomorrow hmm. for uh, part nine. Yes. Part nine? Yeah, it's eight today, isn't it? I think it's eight today, yeah. yeah almost losing count. Uh, yeah. I, I, I get worried when I get past ten, mate. 
No, that's right. Oh, yeah. Use your fingers. Yeah, hey. <laughs> <laughs> yes, to the email address under my finger. Oh yeah, fingers there. Yes, uh, rcmodelgeeks at gmail dot com. Yeah. And yes, big nose. I have got your picture because it's up there. As yeah. We've already said before, but we'll keep saying it. There's big nose. Yeah. Yeah. The old uh, green cub there. Yeah. There he is, Mr. Fishy. Yes. So there you go. We're going. Yep. Look over this way, Colin. I am. That's it. Hello. There you go. All right. All right. So it's uh... goodbye from Mad Colin over there with the emoji jumper on again. And it's night night from Captain Rob. <laughs> yes. Catch you all tomorrow. Yep. Bye. Bye.